After I straighten the bed, it's hitting the hitch, so I have to cut this part to clear it. I've been using this wood between the frame and the bed to keep the bed elevated like this so it doesn't hold water. I remove them and I'm going to lower the bed so it will be perfectly seated on the frame before I install the gate. I'm going to build the gate hinges out of this material. This inch and a quarter thick by four inches wide. I use this four inch wide BVC coupling as a jig and I marked it. I'm going to use the oxyacetylene torch to cut it and then I'll grind it. After that, I'll drill a hole over here where it's going to hinge. These two over here, actually they two 5 8 of inch blade welded together. I'm going to cut them and drill them to the shape I want. Then I will remove this weld and separate them. And this part and these two, what will make the hinge for the gate. I also have this wear out grinder disc. It's about perfect guide for this. I'm going to set it about center. And then I will cut it like this.
Since this is four inches, I mark it at two inches this way and two inches this way. This hole going to be in the center of this circle. So the gate will swing and this will not hit the bed. Okay, this is four inches over here. The hole going to be two inches from this edge and two inches from this edge. I marked it very accurately and I'm ready to drill it. I drilled everything. I'm going to use inch and a quarter pins. I may use bolts in the future if I could find inch and a quarter grade eight bolt with the three and a quarter inch shoulder on it. So I will use it as pin and then I will uh, put the nut and drill after the nut and put one of them three eight a tractor pin. For now, I'm going to use this to install this hinge. This one over here will be welded quarter inch from the edge of the bed. I'm going to measure this, mark it, and cut it. And then I'm going to also drill a hole over here in the center of the gate so I could put shackle and lift the gate if I want to. This will be welded quarter inch from the edge of the bed. The gate thickness, it's going to be about three and an eighth. So three and an eighth plus quarter, three and a three eighth. I will mark it three and three eighth and I'll cut it square.
I got everything ready. I worked on it late last night. I changed my idea on how I'm going to use this to pick the gate. I was planning originally to drill a hole over here and use shackle or run the chain through it. What I did, I cut 45. And then I used this half inch, four inch flat stock. I drill a hole right in the center. The camera, it doesn't show this in the center, but it is. If you measure this distance over here and this one over here, they are the same. I'm planning to weld this like this on the gate. The hole is large enough. I could use shackle or I could go with the chain to throw it like this. This one over here, when I separated them, before I separated them, I marked the outside of them. I have number two over here with the grinder and number one over here. So I could weld it the same way it was welded. And this way, the hole will be aligned perfectly. I will show you with these four in a second. I'm going to weld this like this over here. There is a half inch gap over here. So I'm going to weld this and I could connect the two angle together with this uh, square tubing and this will make it very strong. I'm also going to weld every 12 inches one and when I bring the sheet metal over here, I'll drill a hole to line up with these. And then I will weld them and grind them. And this will make it very rigid. And it will cover all this mess. I welded the half inch flat stock at both ends and I grind it flat at the top portion of this. Then I assemble this hinge. I sandwich two by two square tubing in between these two to make sure they parallel. I clamped it all the way. The pin is free. I spaced this quarter inch above the bed for two reasons. One, to make sure it's free all the way around. And the other reason, when I weld the gate, the center of the gravity will be like this when the bed is down. And this will help the gate seal all the way around the bed. The pin is tied because the hole is inch and a quarter and the pin inch and a quarter. After I finish with everything, I will uh, remove little bit material from these pins to make uh, install them and remove them easy. I will tack this in place. I will remove the clamp, make sure everything is still the same, and then I will weld it all the way and I will do the same thing on the other side. This two by two, I also use it to make sure this over here is running at the same line as the bed itself. I tacked it in place, still square. I tacked it over here, over here. The pin still free. And now I'm going to tack the other side.
welded everything on the bed. The pins are still free. I cut this. It was hitting the hitch. I cut two inches and I 45 it to make it look nice. I bring the camera and I show you close up of everything. I'm going to weld supplies these two inch and a quarter rods and I'm going to use it for the tailgate like mechanism. This is my friend Cannon. He brought it here. I fixed it. These pins broke off. It's made from steel. I weld it and we're gonna shoot it for y'all.
I welded these two inch and a quarter rod and I grind it in the middle where I weld it. It looks like it's one piece. It is straight. I should build this one before I welded the hinges on the bed. I think it is straight. I will check it here in a second. I'm going to use this long rod when I weld this on the gate itself. I brought this inch and a quarter a drill bit just in case the four holes for the hinges they don't line up this way I'll make the hole a little bit bigger but if you're doing same thing like I did make sure you get uh, a rod like this and line up everything so they will be on the same axis this way when you dump the gate will open smoothly all the way and it will not get in a bind This way when I weld the gate, it will be perfect. Both of these hinges, they will hinge exactly at the same point. I'm using these two inch and a quarter grade eight flight washers as a thrust bearing. I'm going to weld one of them to this part and the other one to this part to prevent these two parts from rubbing on each other. When I weld the gate to these, I make sure there's about one sixteenth of inch space between the two washer to allow the gate to move freely. I don't have to worry about this part because I'm planning to do the same thing to the other side so this will never touch this part over here. This also will add to the strength of the wall. If there is load on the wall, this will prevent the wall from going further because this one is welded to the gate and the gate is very strong. The one that I'm going to weld to this one, I only going to weld it on the top. So in the future, if it wear out, I could grind it easy and replace it. The one on the gate, it doesn't matter because I could remove the gate and grind it. So I could weld it however it's easy for me. This will only serve as a thrust washer. So there is no need to be strong in this direction they just need to prevent the gate from playing this way it's a good idea to mark the side i'm going to weld the washer on
These hinges came out great. I need to finish the tailgate and I also need to make pins for these hinges. Please stay tuned. In the final video you will see these hinges in action. Thank you for your support. Be safe and I'll see you later.